Hey guys, Rob Shoecraft here with Uncle Chew's Reviews. And I'm going to talk to you today about a uh, kind of a niche, niche, however you want to say it, piece of software called ShareGate. It's a migration tool primarily. It does a few other things as well, but this is specifically for the migration. This review um, really praise. I'll just come out and say it, give you a little spoiler. I'm a huge, huge fan of the SharePoint. Well, yeah, SharePoint's ShareGate migration tool. How I used it was, um, how I've been using it rather, is for a uh, SharePoint Online to SharePoint Online migration. Same tenant. Uh, although, for those of you who are casually just subscribing to this channel, might not know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I don't know what I'm talking about, which is why I found ShareGate in the first place. Um, I'm working, uh, so I, I'm, a, I'm a personal trainer. Uh, for those who came over from my other channel, Three Storm Fitness, but I'm also an IT consultant, and my my background is in IT, and uh, so I still do some work, doing some work for a company, um, decent si medium size, actually probably on the smaller end as far as SharePoint goes, uh, basically recreating their SharePoint environment with the modern look and um, the uh, not hub pages, but um, hub site collections, just making everything a lot more easy to navigate. So taking all their old content, restructuring it, and moving it over to uh, to this new environment that I developed. Well, running into all sorts of issues uh, about halfway through it, um, I don't know, a couple hundred pieces of content or so had to be moved over. Uh, I was doing all that manually, you know, going through the process of saving it as a template with the content and re-uploading it to the place I wanted to put it on, reassigning permissions, etc., where, where they needed to be um, unique anyway. And then uh, I was running into all sorts of errors like, uh, probably the most common would be like view thresholds going over 5,000, uh, which makes it impossible to, to use that, that template method uh, to, uh, to migrate the content, lists, calendars, etc. Run into issues with like lookup uh, list column lookup columns pointing to nowhere, which causes some problems when you try to migrate it. Um, what other pr kind of problems? Uh, another thing you might see is like if you're trying to move a uh, a list over that has a call like a people or group column. Um, if it's a different site collection, it's the, the, it's not going to populate it, so you'll have to. One case, I had to go through and do all that crap, export it to Excel, paste all those in. I know there are probably better ways to do it. I know there are. Um, I was talking to one of my friends who's like a SharePoint guru, getting some advice on some of these problematic lists. Like I said, I was about halfway through the migration. And he said, you know, there's two things you can do here. One, uh, how versed are you in PowerShell? You can get the uh, do some PNP commandlets and... You could write a kind of a custom script and move all that stuff over. Kind of, uh, you can just troubleshoot it. I said, hey, I mean, I, I'm, I've done some things in PowerShell. I'm intermediate at best with it. Um, he said you could get that done in about, I could get it done in an hour, which kind of tells me I could probably get it done in 10 hours, maybe. <laughs> so I said, what's the other option? He said, well, you could sign up for a, a free trial of ShareGate. Now, ShareGate... For those of you who don't know, who don't know is about four thousand dollars per year per user, so it's very expensive. And uh, it's been around for a little while. Uh, back in my old job, when I was doing a SharePoint uh, migration, I I asked for it and it got shot down. Of course, it wasn't in the budget, uh, so it's been at least I know it's at least three years old, if not older. Um, so I I signed up for the ShareGate trial. Kind of, uh, he, he said he's a huge fan, but he said because it's a trial, it might have some problems. But anyways, I signed up for it and with nothing to lose. Because you don't have to enter your credit card number or anything. You just download the software. You send a, a company email address. They send you a trial key for 15 days. And from what I could tell, it's no strings attached. You get full access to the software. And I can't tell you, this thing was like, I told my buddy uh, Ryan, I'm like, this is like Game Genie for SharePoint migration. Like for those of you who play with Game Genie back in the Nintendo 8-bit, it, it's like you have superpowers. I mean, it's just drag and drop migration 
all those problematic tables I was talking about got moved over without any issue. You know, pretty huge tables. Um, you know, tables with like views, you know, 13,000 items in the views, etc. Not, I mean, it's all relative whether or not that's huge, but the point is tables that would be a huge mess to migrate. When I say tables, lists went over like nothing. Um, you could restructure, you can get, do site collections, you could do sites, subsites, pages, uh, lists, obviously, down to the column level. You could redo mappings. Everything is like super intuitive. It just, it flew. I mean, it does take a little while to do. I mean, it takes a while to process. Like, uh, I think I did, I think it took me like two hours to move like 30. I did a big bulk move of like 30 different lists at once. That's the most I did at once. It took a couple hours. It's got to process it all. But then it just, it, it goes and it finishes. You could choose, you know, if you want to maintain security, if you want to keep the metadata. Because a lot of times when you do like a template style move, you lose like uh, the mod modified date, um, the author, authorship, things like that. Uh, I don't, I'm not, I can't remember. I don't think versioning gets moved over. All this can get moved over. It's completely painless and absolutely amazing. And so I just wanted to give a, a shout out. This is not a video. It's going to obviously, if you can't tell, it's not a video. We're going to be showing you how to use it and showing you. Just go. There's a million. They have a million videos out there. I've been lusting after this product forever. I didn't realize they even had a free trial. So my advice to you, if you're in the middle of a migration project right now, I don't know if ShareGate would approve of this. I'd imagine they would. They're the one who put the trial out. But my advice would be go do yourself a favor, sign up for the trial, get as much done as you can in those 15 days. You'll probably finish it if you have a plan. Um, and let the trial run out and call it a day. It saved me hours and hours and hours and hours. I got the whole rest, half of the migration done over the weekend. No problem. I'm super thrilled about it. So huge, huge thumbs up for ShareGate. Um, if I got to get any more Share, SharePoint projects this year, I will strongly consider working the $4,000 license into the budget. It's, it's that good that it's, I would, I would say it's easily, well, I don't want to say it's easily worth that. That is a lot of money to shell out. But depending on how much of a project you have and how many hours you're going to be spending on it, I mean, you could, you know, a good size SharePoint migration could take a couple hundred hours um, from start to finish. This could cut that in half easily, I would imagine. Um, I'm, again, I'm kind of shooting from the hip here talking, but based on my experience, it's so it's so easy. He, my buddy Ryan, he's a, like I said, a, a senior SharePoint architect with a big company in, in Columbus. He said they use it all the time. That's like almost all they use unless they have to do something really, really custom. Um, you can go, I didn't, I haven't done this, but I know you can go from 2007, 2010, 2013, 2016, I think I'm getting those versions right, maybe even back in Moss, don't quote me on that, all the way up to, you know, SharePoint Online, Office 365, you can migrate from OneDrive, you know, use those as targets, as sources, migrate from, I think, Google Drive as well. So it's very, very robust. There's tons of other features, a lot of different reporting features you could use as well. Uh, but I just wanted to th throw it out. Two thumbs up, four stars, five stars, 100% um, Rotten Tomato, 10 IMDb. ShareGate gets all that from this guy right here. If you guys have any questions about it, like I said, I'm not an, I, I've only been using it for really a weekend, but um, I do plan to use it for the rest of the 13 days or 14 or 11 or however, however many I have. Um, <laughs> and uh, if I, I'll, do a, I'll do another review if I ever get in, end up getting the full version, which as I understand is the same as the trial, I will uh, I'll probably give a follow-up review and let you know whether it's worth the four Gs or not. But again, guys, if you're stuck, if you're a SharePoint professional architect or whatever, sorry, I'm downloading something right now. I want to make sure the computer didn't go to sleep. Um, get the trial. You're out nothing. I wish they had an affiliate program because I'm sure I could make some money off of this video if anybody watches it. But um, they don't, as far as I could tell. Um, get the trial. Do the work you need to do in the 15 days, and you're welcome. All right, guys. Rob Shoecraft with Uncle Choose Reviews. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.